Hey, yo, what's going on? It's Member Lane Podcast, Struggle the Preacher, Derek Jones. We are ready to spin our wheel. Let's do it. Again, I thought it might be green, though. Hmm. Oleg Anofriyev. Oleg Anofriyev. Put the stress on the O. O. Put the stress on it. Oh, Oleg. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm saying it in the last name. Oh, okay. In the last name. I'm sorry. Okay. Oleg Anufriya. Yeah. Pretty close. Okay. Very close. Estoko. Estuko. Me. It's again, it is, I, I should have spelled it Y E S T. Y E S T, not E S T. Y. So, uh, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Toko. Nick. Yeah. And actually, somebody, uh, it's on my wheel, but somebody actually uh, requested this song just as well. Oh, cool. I like and your free. I like and talk to me. Yes, talk to me. Yeah. We're going to get this. All right. Let's get to it. I like it. It's very smooth. Very like. Uh, jazz bossa nova type feel. Um, excuse me. And, um, Bingo. Yeah, you hear me, right? Yeah. <laughs> you want to play? <laughs> um, I get a. Uh, what do you call it? In the beginning, I thought it was gonna be like a jazz song, like just jazz. But then the guitar, and then there was some other sounds that just made it a little more smoother and like very, you know, groovy. Uh, but I guess you could classify it like smooth jazz. Um, I think the song was about like going on a voyage. And I don't know. <laughs> um, at first, like the visual, I thought maybe they were going off to war. But then I saw the sunset. So I was like, well, maybe it's just about them going off to a voyage. But then I saw the guy who went in his coat and did like the Holy Cross <laughs> and pulled out a gun. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe like a voyage to go and claim something or I don't know. It's also from the movie, but I think it doesn't really matter. I mean, because yeah, you go from the you go from from the visuals, right? Which is right. Okay, and some. Uh, and then sometimes I was trying I got, to close my eyes. I got some, also I got some I got some uh, feedback on it. A uh, guy named Lacha says that this song was named the best song of the century of the twentieth century in Russia. Oh wow. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, but actually, the song is it's a, it's a deep song. I think it's why, and I think my personal, uh, in, my personal opinion on why it 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 is the best song is because of the meaning here. Mm -hmm. It's called um, "There Is Only uh, a Moment in Life." I mean, it's like every you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's always a moment we gotta live in now. We should not care about what happened in the past. We should not worry about what's going to happen in, in the future. Right. But it's all about the now. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. So um, that's what it is about. Cool. My dad used to sing this song. He played the add. guitar. And I probably, I will probably have this clip of my dad playing this song and, I mean, and singing this song and playing the guitar. It's from '96, and I probably if he if he gonna let me use that clip, I'm gonna play this clip in the. Oh yeah, that would be great. 
Не дано, а встречать их беду еще Есть только миг, за него не держись Есть только миг, между прошлым и будущим Именно он называется жизнь Yeah, I, I was gonna ask like, um, did your dad suggest this song, or I don't know? Give me like. Uh, no, it was not my dad who suggested this song. It was somebody else. The song. But then I told the person that we already had it on the wheel. Nice. Yeah. And no, it's a good song. And then when you gave it meaning more, like it had more meaning, like like live seize seize the moment, like almost like you, you say carpe diem. And yeah. that's he's in a moment, yeah. you know? I like yeah. that. It's a Latin, right? I like songs with meaning. Okay, where is like, again, if you had to listen to it, where would you listen to this song? Where would I listen to it? Yeah, you know, it's like if we talk about environments, different environments. Uh, in the house, I would definitely listen to it. Um, I think anything that's going to, anywhere probably that's going to, get me in the mood to like want to live in a moment especially sometimes like me personally i can get overwhelmed with like what's going to happen and oh this got to happen this has to happen and oh i need to do this and i need to do that or oh i can't do that because i don't have to do it or something like just like overwhelming and then i have to be brought back to like hey right now be in the right now so for me it would probably be one of those songs I would listen to definitely to remind me to be in the right now like sometimes I listen to gospel music to send to myself again like just to remember you know yeah. right now is all you had so yeah I would probably and then um that's something I think I would play in the classroom if I was doing like an after school program okay to to get the kids to understand about like you know Okay. Like just cultivating yeah. them and saying like, hey, listen to this and then be able to translate it to them. Okay. Yeah, that cool. would be cool. That would be, the, that would be cool. I like songs like that to do with my kids. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And okay, so we got a philo uh, philosophic question right, right here. Why do we have so few songs that, you know, that had such a deep meaning these days? Why don't we have more songs like this but it's like i know it's like more a uh, philosophic uh, question and, and what do you think about it me or you why don't we have, don't we have enough you know like a, or why why songs these days it's not even songs i want to say it's, it's more it's even movies it's Movie? literature, it's everything why don't we have much deeper content out there these days I really like that question because um, for me as an artist, um, that's something that I've noticed. And um, I believe it's because, and I will blame it on like media, just the way society is and the way the world has turned so fast. Um, we've become a, a right now, um, like my mom likes to call it the microwave society. Everything is instant. Everything is, we got to have it right now. Everything is, is shallow. Uh, people aren't being taught hard work. People aren't being taught uh, spiritually or being fed spiritually. They aren't feeding themselves spiritually. And um, they aren't even becoming aware of themselves. And when I say becoming aware of themselves, is I feel like stepping out of the selfishness of self. Like it's okay to be, you know what I'm trying to say? Like yeah, everyone becomes so selfish and self-centered that they yeah. haven't become self-aware. Whereas I just said this to somebody too. Um, I personally believe like in life, part of everyone's purpose is to live for the next person or the next generation behind us to make it, you know, 
to give them understanding of the true meaning of life. So for me, musically, when I write a song, it has to have meaning. And sometimes I think that's why I'm not writing songs as fast because I want it to have meaning and I want it to be something that everyone catches on to and grasps to inspire. And I think in life, a lot of us have just gotten out of wanting to inspire the next person. Yeah. And I totally agree. When I think the key word right here is selfishness. Thank you. That is a, a question. Like I think we all should be asking. What I personally think, just like yeah, like I said, the key word right here is selfishness, and it's about people these generation these days. I think it's more about getting than giving. You know, and when you don't give, you don't you cannot think on that level. Right. Even if you are as a creator. You write about selfish stuff, pretty much. Look at the inspiration these days. People get his kids get inspired by seeing all these people showing off their cars, money, naked girls, and they get inspired by that. So they just get inspired selfishness evokes selfishness mm. you know if you try to give something if you try to give a positive something positive message if you put put the positive message out there and 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 they'd be like okay you know just like you are influenced by something is which is beautiful and when you are influenced by something that is ugly, per se, it is ugly. I had this, I had this music video with naked girls. I took it down, though I had a major artist on it from D12, right. Eminem's. Right. right. But I was like, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take it down, especially after I released this children's book. I didn't want my name to be associated with, you know, something that, okay, kid, or parents, their parents go online, Google my name, and this and music it, video comes up along with the book. And they'd be like, no, I got to read this book, you know, to my, to my kids. You That's true. Me? And it's not even that. It's just like I didn't want to be associated with this kind of footage. Even when I did this video, I, I was not really up for it. Right. It was just like kind of like, okay, let's try and see if it's gonna give me more views, which did, which actually did give me more views than let's right. say my any other regular video. But I was like, no, I'm not feeling that. I'm just gonna take it down. And it's all about selfishness. Totally get it. Totally, totally get it. Selfishness.